During the Supreme Court ban on sale of alcohol along the national and state highways, the Bengaluru excise duty in uh, deference to the order has issued notices to over 300 pubs and bars asking them to stop selling alcohol beverages from midnight to the 30th of this month. Following the Supreme Court's 500-meter ban order, the pub owners have started reducing their inventory. As many as 133 pubs in the city will face closure if the ban is not revoked or any relief is given to the bar or pub owners. They don't come under the national highway. They are the part of the city. Probably even the national uh, uh, highway authorities, they may have given some clarification that they don't come under the national highway related to the national highway. Probably why this confusion has arrived is very surprising. The concerned officials should, should take all the necessary uh, measures to see that unnecessary confusion is uh, unnecessary confusion should not be brought in. See, we have to act in accordance with the judgment of the Supreme Court. See, we have to act in accordance with the judgment of the Supreme Court. You have to ask excise minister or the other, the other the chief minister, but already we have passed the cabinet decision requesting the center to denotify all the city's corporations from the national highway. That's why, because of Supreme Court order is there, no national highway, there should not be allowed, uh, pubs and the bars are not allowed. My colleague uh, Sagai Raj uh, joins us with more on that story. Uh, Sagai, uh, obviously this is something that is going to affect a huge number of people. Uh, how are they looking at it? Is there a way out, they believe? Karnataka government has already sent their representative to Delhi to speak to the central government, especially the National Highway Authority uh, organization, about declassifying uh, uh, this roads. Yes, as you mentioned, 98 outlets will be shut down from July 1st uh, if uh, the, the order of the Supreme Court, court is enforced uh, here in Brigade Road, NG Road, uh, and uh, Church Street. And nearly 3,000 uh, employees will lose their job. Yes, definitely, if you see in this particular uh, issue, the, there is a lethargic behavior from the state government because Karnataka state government had approached in 2015, much before the Supreme Court verdict to National Highway Authority of India to declassify all these roads from National Highway. But after that, uh, none of the bureaucrats or officials did not follow up uh, from the organization. Only after the Supreme Court verdict was pronounced, that's when uh, the bureaucrats woke up and tried to approach the National Highway Authority of India again. And what we get to learn from our sources is that uh, uh, there will be a representative who will be traveling to Delhi tomorrow. Back to you. All right, so guy, we'll have to wait and see if a way out of this can be found. Thanks very much for getting us all those details.